everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated system to help you win big every time. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NFL action for Week 8, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So, we're almost halfway through the NFL season already. Hard to believe, but we're, we're there. And uh, we've got some good matchups for you coming up for Week 8. So let's take a look at some of these games. The first game we want to look at is the Atlanta Falcons and the Tennessee Titans. The Falcons come in 2-1 uh, and one over the last three, while Tennessee has lost their last two and they're ice cold down. The Falcons are road favorites of 2.5 points with odds of 1.72 to 2.13. And the over-under is very low at 335.5. And with good reason. If you look at the uh, total streak over the last uh, you know, several games, look at this. Atlanta... Involving games under the line in their last five and Tennessee in their last four. You see that uh, Atlanta is a three and a half star uh, game winner pick as as the favorite here on the road. And um, let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. See both teams on the downward trend. Uh, Atlanta is at plus 16, while Tennessee is at plus eight. If we take a look at the stability factor, how consistent have the two teams been so far this year with regard to their favorite underdog status? You can see Atlanta is at plus five, so they've been extremely consistent with that regard, but Tennessee has not. They are at zero. Let's take a look at the movement in the line. This is the Atlanta Falcons money line. You can see it opened at 1.87, and it got to 1.719, and that's where it's currently at right now. So Atlanta is even more of a favorite than they were when it opened. So in the end, I do like Atlanta to this one, but I think the low-scoring trend is going to continue with these two teams. So let's go with Atlanta and under the line. The next game we want to look at, Jacksonville at Pittsburgh. This is going to be a really good game. Both teams coming in burning hot. You can see Jacksonville has won their last five, while Pittsburgh has won four out of their last five and coming off of a seven-point road win against the Rams. Jacksonville is a, is a favorite on the road. Uh, by two and a half points with odds of 1.7 to 2.131. The over under is set at 40.5. You can see here that Jacksonville is a four and a half star uh, game winner pick as a road favorite. Um, Jacksonville has won 80% in the, as a favorite in their last five games and also covered the spread during that stretch at 80% of the time. An interesting thing to note is that Pittsburgh has also covered the spread in 80% of the last five games as an underdog. So something has to give right there. Um, kind of ignore the score prediction at the moment, 32-13, because the confidence in the prediction is low at 34%. The over-under trends shows that the teams have been trending on opposite sides of the line, Pittsburgh in games under the line, whereas Jacksonville has been involved in games over the line as of late. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator again, as we always like to look at Jacksonville on the upward trend of plus 27, Pittsburgh also on the upward trend of plus 22. Not surprising considering how well both teams have played as of late. Head-to-head -head wise, the two teams have not met in a regular season since uh, 2020, so that's kind of irrelevant at this stage. Let's take a look at the movement in the money line. You can see that there's been some movement here, right here. You see right here, a sharp line move detected in favor of the Jaguars. You see it was 1.752. It got to 1.671. But now it's leveled back off somewhat at 1.719. In the end, though, I like uh, Jacksonville. I think this is going to be a close game. I like the Jacksonville Jaguars to win this one by a field goal. Minnesota and Green Bay. That's a good one, but we're not really going to take a look at that one. Um, New England and Miami. Another divisional matchup. New Orleans and Indianapolis. Of course, see, you can look at any one of these that you want. We only have time to look at five of these today. Here's going to be an interesting battle. The Jets and the Giants. Why? Well, two New York teams. Although the Jets are technically the road team, both teams play their games in the same stadium. So there really is no road home favorite type thing here. So, you know, don't really look at uh, what they do on the road and at home in this one because they're both basically home. Uh, Jets are burning hot coming off a win against Philadelphia two weeks ago. And they were up by last week. And the Giants are ice cold up, coming up with a win against Washington. The Jets are favorites at 1.64 to 2.274 odds. Uh, that's a minus 3.5 point spread. And the over-under is set at 36.5. You see here the Jets have a 62% chance right here. 
Um, the score prediction has the Jets by a 19-point margin, 35-16. The confidence in the prediction, not real low, but not extremely high either at 68%. Uh, let's see here. The power ranks indicator, the Jets, with that the last two wins, have climbed up to plus 11. Even though the Giants won last week, they're still only at plus one. Um, the stability factor. See, the Giants have been more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus four compared to plus one. Let's take a look down here at the money line. And this is the Jets' money line. You see it opened at 1.645. It got to 1.592, and it dipped down to as low as 1.69. So there's been some movement in the line, and now it's back up to 1.621 right here. So you can see the... Uh, the Jets are even a little bit more of a favorite than they were to start. Not much, but a little bit more of a favorite. I do like the Jets in this one. I think it's going to be a higher scoring game. So let's take the Jets over the line. Philadelphia and Washington. We're not really taking a look at that one. The Rams and the Cowboys. This is going to be a pretty good game, I think. The Rams come in ice cold down, though. Um, two and two over the last four. Dallas is average up coming off the win against the Chargers. Dallas is a pretty big favorite here of six and a half points at home with odds of 1.41 to 2.974. The over under is sitting at 45.5. See that Dallas is a four and a half star game winner pick as a home favorite. And Dallas have, has won 80% of their games in the favorite status over the last five, covering in four of those five as well. The Cowboys are predicted to win in a blowout here, 45-19. I'm not really going that far with it. The confidence in the prediction is 66%. Uh, let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. You see the Rams are at plus 11. Dallas has been up and down there, currently sitting at plus 22. Have the two teams been uh, stable? Well, let's take a look here. Uh, somewhat. Dallas at plus 3. They were... At plus three since October the 8th, and the Rams were at plus two, and then they are back down to plus one. I like to look at the money line again. You can see there's been a lot of movement here on this money line. You can see it opened at 1.395. This is the Dallas money line. You can see right here the sharp uh, line moving detected in favor of Dallas. You can see how it climbed, and it went to 1.34. And then there was a sharp line against Dallas, and it went back to Close to where it started, it's currently at 1.41. That was still a, a pretty strong favorite in this one. So I really think that this is a Dallas win. I think Dallas by a touchdown, but I'm going to pass on the over-under. Okay, Cleveland, Seattle, Baltimore, and Arizona. Lots of games here on, on schedule. There are, there are teams on bye week, but there's still pretty many games to look at this week. Here's the last game we want to look at, Cincinnati and San Francisco. <clears throat> San Francisco coming off of two straight losses. They look to get back on track. While the Bengals are getting right at the right time, you're winners of three of their last four. But they're still a road underdog by four and a half points. You see the odds in favor of San Francisco is 1.51 to 2.587. Uh, there's been 67% winning rate predicting the last six San Francisco 49ers games. So take note of that. Another thing to take note of is the underdog value pick four and a half stars for the Bengals as the underdog value pick 84% chance of covering the spread right here. Let's see what we got here. As the power ranks indicator chart goes, San Francisco on a little bit of a decline after a steep up, upward climb there at plus 26. And Cincinnati was at plus 13. The stability factor, you can see here that San Francisco, a bit more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, but they were at plus five, and that went to plus three because they lost the last two games as favorites. So in the end, though, I think this is going to be um, a bounce-back game for the 49ers, but I think the Bengals can cover the game. I like the Bengals to cover, then the 49ers to win, but pass on the over-under. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NFL for Week 8. Happy betting, and see you next time.